Hey there, friend. You look like you might have seen better days. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I hate to hear that. Have you been feeling bad since you woke up? You have? Okay. Well, what's, what's going on, is it? Stomach, throat, head? A little bit of everything, and you're feeling achy? Oh, man. Well, there's a chance you have the flu. Have you been able to keep liquids down and stuff? You have? Okay, that's good. That's really good. Um, well, uh, are you, are you feeling up to eating anything? Have you had anything to eat today? You have it? Okay. Well, I don't know if you're contagious or not, but since you're so near and dear to me, I figure I would just risk it and kind of try to assess you anyways. I don't want you to have to go to the doctor and wait in line and stuff, so I'll, I'll try to maybe like get like a WebMD kind of read out on you and see what's going on. Albeit, if you read too much into that website, you might think you're dying. So let's just take it easy. And uh, let me maybe get a feel of your face and see if you have a temperature or anything. Okay, good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and touch your face if that's okay. Of course. Okay. Here we go. Use the back of my hand here. And just put my hand on your forehead here. Okay. So, I don't think you have a fever, so that's good for my little hand test. Um, your head's hurting though, right? And your throat's a little itchy. I'm falling apart on me. Did you end up going to that party last night you said you were going to go to? Okay. I'm not now. I'm just saying. There's a chance it could be a hangover. Like a bad one. No? Okay. Whatever. Well, I'll take care of you anyways. Because that's what I'm here for. The homie. So. As far as food, you've been able to keep things down, right? Okay. Well, I got a little bit of chicken noodle soup we can do. Um, maybe some saltine crackers. If you're not feeling the salt, um, I understand. So I do have some whole grain wheat bread that we can, you know, whip you up with the soup. The camp, yeah, it's Campbell's. Okay. Well, uh, let me take a look around real quick. As far as your throat goes, though, yeah, I want to play doctor with you. I want you to open up your mouth for me and let me kind of take a look in there. If it's really red, I'm going to call and get you to the doctor. But if it's just a little pink, maybe you just, maybe you just, uh, smoked a cigarette or something when you were drinking last night. Yeah. Well, I hate to say it, but I'm guilty of that same exact thing. I don't smoke, but... Every now and then, your buddy Bailey might get a little too drunk and can I bum a cig just because it sounds good? So open up your mouth. All right. Let's take a look in here. Ah, oh, good. Well, so far, I'm not seeing too much to be concerned about. be honest I'm not I'm not seeing much you might have just been yelling or something at the party did you get oh did you get blackout by chance okay all right just wondering I know sometimes it can get away from us I understand how that goes okay so I'm not really seeing too much to be concerned about there uh, but I do have a little throat spray I can give you that sound good? Okay. Well, it's, it's a throat spray my mother gave me. Um, it's probably, 
pretty old, but it seems to still work, so. I don't see an expiration date on it. Still smells fine, so. You know, worst case. Just get even more sick. I'm just kidding. You'll be fine. This, this is, I really did. I used this a couple weeks ago, so you'll be okay. All right, so open up your mouth for me. Say, ah, stick the tongue out really far. Good. Ah, good, good, good. I like to really saturate it. The numbing agents really help to fix the throat. I don't think you can like OD on this throat spray, so we should be good. Um, <clears throat> now I just kinda hang out, uh, let that take effect. Give it 10 seconds or so. And then you let me know how you feel. If it feels a little better, that's good. It's <clears throat> a lot of Q-tips. Why do you have so many Q-tips? Okay, all right. Well, how's that throat feeling? A little better? Perfect. I love to hear that. So, healthy request, heart healthy, zero gram to trans fat per serving. Home style. Chicken noodle. ASMR-esque things to me, so maybe it'll help you too. Um, okay, well, we can just go through the ingredients. I know you've been working on your diet. So if this sounds good after I'm done reading some of this stuff off, I'll make this for you, okay? Good. Ingredients, chicken stock, enriched egg noodles, wheat flour, egg whites, eggs, niacin, that's interesting. I think niacin is the stuff that makes your hair grow. Or is that biotin? I don't know. Ferrous sulfate. Okay. We're getting down to some stuff I can't pronounce. Hmm. Okay. Salt, celery, modified food starch, water, potassium, potassium chloride, flavoring. Disodium. Okay. I grew up eating that stuff. This seems more like a chemical than it does some soup. Sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll read the better stuff. Um, okay, low in, so low in uh, saturated fat and cholesterol, so that's good. It looks delicious. Like just a can of soup. Don't overthink it. So I can make this for you. I can pop it open, go microwave it for you. So that sounds like something you might want to do. I don't want you feeling sick anymore. And I always find that maybe a little bit of soup every now and then, or, or when I'm sick in particular, and a little bit of bread or a saltine cracker kind of helps me feel cared for and somehow ends up making you feel just a little better, even if it's just a placebo effect. Okay, I'll crack it open for you. <laughs> this is hard to do without fingernails. <laughs> I bite them off. Okay. Mmm, I love some chicken noodle soup. Yeah, it smells delicious. And we'll 
we'll just pour this here into our bowl. I wonder if you have to mix this with water. I don't think you do. Nope, you don't. Do you want me to microwave it or do it on the stove top? Microwave? That works. Just fine with me. Okay. Easier done that way. I already have the bowl anyways. So. Chunky noodles. Go home, noodles. Got them all out. All right. I'm gonna go microwave this. I'll be right back. I've got um, some bread in there as well as our saltines and you can just figure out which one you want when I get back. Perfect, all right, I'll be right back. I have returned with our delicious warm Campbell's soup, chicken noodle, per your request. Here's our spoon. Just stir that around for you. But be careful, because it's gonna be pretty hot. I don't want you to burn your mouth, okay? Mm, that's delicious, okay, here you go. Now, I've got these delicious Kroger brand saltine crackers. Um, saltine's really good with some soup. I like to let the, ch the, the saltine cracker just soak in the soup and then I'll just eat the mush. But I'm gross, so I don't know. But we've got this if you want this, okay. And... Got a little bit of this delicious... This delicious... This delicious... Organic. 22 grains and seed bread. I love bread so much. Um, so I can get you this or the saltines, or we can just do both, whatever you want to do. Both. I don't blame you. Why not? So. I'll just open this up. This is a brand new loaf, too. Some of us were out doing productive things in society today, like grocery shopping, instead of laying in bed with a hangover. Just kidding, but really. <laughs> All right, here you go. Mmm, that's nice. Here you go. Put that up just with your soup here. Soup's not too hot, is it? Good, okay. I'll just put our tie back on our bread here. And next up, the saltine crackers. too loud. Disrupt your rest and relaxation. And one sleeve of saltine crackers coming right up. Ta-da. Okay. These will definitely make you feel a little better. Just a wholesome food, a really nice, light, yet delicious and enjoyable treat. <laughs> it is, it really is. So 
So I'll go ahead and open these up for you. You can just take as many as you want. There you are. Put these with your soup as well. You look comfortable in that bed there. Is there anything I can get you besides for my undevoted attention? Hang on, I gotta sneeze. I think you're getting me sick. Okay, so, um, the head, is the head hurting a little bit still? Okay, yeah, well you probably need a little bit of water, so. I'll get you some of that in a minute. Let me go ahead and wrap your temples for you. Sometimes this helps me feel quite a bit better as well. Just some like rubbing on my temples. And really caring for me. So I'll do that for you here. If that's okay. Good job, my friend. Very good. Don't want you feeling like poopy. Don't want you feeling bad anymore. Have you been out of bed at all today? Not really. Okay. Well, that sucks. I'm sorry. So your head's hurting a little bit. Your throat's not hurting anymore because you got a lot of spray in there. And, uh, be able to breathe okay as far as like through your nose and are you stopped up or anything? A little bit. Okay. Huh. Well, maybe that soup will help you clear that up. Yeah. All right. Well, if you want me to, I can take another look with my flashlight. Take a look up your nose. That's something that might interest you. Gotcha. Okay. I'll go ahead and lift your nose for you. Nah, clear. It's clear. It's probably just your sinuses. Yeah. Okay. Well, you just uh, hang tight and um, relax. Eat your food. Um, and I'll come back and check on you. Uh, I guess here in a couple hours, or if you need me, I guess just yell, yell for me. Okay, that felt good. I can do that now if you want me to. A little face rub. Yeah, a little head massage action. Okay, no problem. Only because you're my best. So, here we go. How's that feel? Does that feel okay? Good. Good, good, good. I love to hear that. Oh, it's making your headache go away a little bit. Good. Good, good, good. Headaches are the worst. I really, really, really don't like them. it. I would expect you to do the same for me since we're best friends. So. Next time I have a uh, random sickness. I'll uh, shoot you a text and you can go buy me a cheeseburger and smoothie and nurse me back to health. Bring me some video games. <laughs> yeah. It seems to be working a little bit. It'll help with your headache. Good, good. I love to hear that. I love to hear that. I love to hear that. 
Go ahead and open your mouth one more time. Let's check out that throat again. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's still about the same. I just noticed that your eye, you have a like a busted or a bursted blood vessel kind of in your eye. Yeah. Mind if I take a look at that too? Okay. I'm going to just lift your left eye here. <laughs> hmm. I wonder when that happened. Have you been noticing any pain in that area at all? Okay. All right. We'll just keep an eye on it. Were you yelling last night? A little bit. Okay. Good music. Ah, gotcha. Lift that other eye now. You don't have to look into my light if it's making your head hurt. Just look away. Yeah. Hmm. Just a little bit of redness. Did you uh, do a little smoky smoke maybe this morning? Well, thanks for letting me look into your eyes. Could have just let me know that on the front end. <laughs> okay, I don't blame you. Hangovers are hell, so. All right, well, you just go ahead and finish up your soup and eat your bread, and uh, if there's anything else you need from me, truly, let me know. Uh, I hate that you're feeling bad. Uh, I got a couple things I got to do today. If you get to feeling better, I'd love to have you come with me, but if not, that's totally fine, too. Um, so, but anyway, while I'm out, if there's anything you think of that you need, like a smoothie or chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A or anything like that, uh, you just let me know and I'll pick it up and bring it home to you. Okay. Good. All right. Well, uh, enjoy your day. And, uh, like I said, holler at me if you need anything. Sounds good. All right. I'll see you soon.